We're live here at the Accra Sports Stadium. It's Sunday night football. Accra has the book up against. It's just almost finding the back of the net. Now here is Daniel Barnier. Now Salifu Ibrahim looks for Barnier again with this video opener. Awesome! 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 The Fabians have scored in fantastic fashion. This is simply beautiful. And as and as team goals goes, this is Barnier instantly has made an impact. Look at him, he's waiting for the right moment. Takes on the defender, sees Salifu in a good space and doesn't stop there, continues to make the run. No offside yet. Lovely things from Salifu to him. It's not selfish. Links up well with our being junior again for a simple tapping. And it's a very, very good goal. It's a world class finish. Proper team goal from Banier to Salifu. Makes the run into the box. Receives the ball from Salifu again. And tees up our being junior who's arriving for the simple tapping. The patience, the composure of Salifu to pick out the run of Banier. Unselfish Banier spotting our being junior. Calmly slotting in and after one. Uh -uh. His confidence. He needs to shake that one off and get back to his best game. Barnier to Abin Junior again. The woodwork to the rescue of Pfizer. No offside. Ibrahim Salifu up against Dan Lad Ibrahim. Now Daniel Barnier will score into the empty net. It's a second for the Phobians. Daniel Lefria Barnier steps up the bench, makes an assist. And gets on the score. Right there. And look at the ball. Right over the top. No offside here. No offside whatsoever. And so, so unselfish of he him. He sets up Bani. Sees Bani arriving and just tees him up for it. Simple, lovely tapping for the, for the goal that seals it all for Akira Hatsa for today against King Fessa. All goals went calmly and coolly. And as whistle to his mouth, he's blowing it. It's over here in Accra. Hatsa book to King Faisal. Against Accra Hatsawak is our coverage of the Ghana Premier League. Thankfully, the fans have turned up and these two teams will enjoy some support from their vociferous fans. They emerge out of the tunnel with Glasson Awaku, the ever present captain, leading his charges. So to go past Hamza, early ball onto the part of Bani, who fights for it and is cleared by Dan. So only as far as Isaac Mensah. Is it a goal? Patao's ball is found. Barnier, there's a push on Barnier by Osebo, but he does sort to hang on to that ball. A free year, Barnier. Goes past Osebo, so Chiki E sends a shot across. Goalkeeper Koku. Wait, that's safe. I mean, it, it needs no description. Just listen to the plays, the way the crowd are reacting to this brilliant piece of skill. Osebo is completely beaten by the brilliant. Uh, but he won't give up, he's still fighting. The never day side spirit, never say die. Got the ball, and here is Abin Junior. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, Salif Ibrahim, right? a beautiful pass, pass there. And Abin Junior is so unselfish, sends the ball to Bani, who doesn't really catch it with a lot of power in it. Go get back. Radio Boca with a throw in for the Phobians. Abin Junior. Finds Obuka, who sends a cross in. Oh, brilliant save, Stephen Kwaku. Daniel Efria. Save. Goodness gracious me, that is, that is an incredible save. Again, the, the quality of the cross is good. But Banye generating the power from there. But the goalkeeper took two steps out of that day. It's ended in a crowd. It's 1 1. Moment again, Banye does well to get past this man. But this is where it's crucial. So that is where Jamaldin dives into the challenge in there. Banye is always going all. But he makes that run, he's the one making that run. He's the one who's participating in it. Take a look at him now. But that was a strike there from Banye. Goalkeeper doesn't deal with it well. It's a sucking goalkeeper in here because as a goalkeeper, I have to just parry that away from the danger zone. Unfortunately, that's not right into the park. Olympics. Forget about the goal system seeded. He remains Olympics number one. Next to delivery. Would this be the first goal? Banye! Daniel 
Barney and Freye. Appeal for a penalty. Goalkeeper here, so casual at the back, so dangerous, but it's all about the pressing and the pressure from a free year Bamie. Goalkeeper had nowhere to go, and this was so soft, it was never going to be a penalty. But Ashgold here, living dangerously, playing from the back in the way they were doing. Got something on him, man. I just didn't go in favor, but the Fabians will take advantage of that. Here is Daniel Efriye Banye. Up against Roland Kosidia who sends a cross in. Whoa! What a miss! A little bit, but this is where the ball is coming from. Bamye does well to get the ball to the byline to get in across. But as the ball comes in here, goalkeeper does so well to get some. Little delayed one for a free year. A free year! Goalkeeper wasn't the right option. So here, this is where they lose the ball in midfield as goal. Ball here, lovely play through by Nuruddin to a free year. He's in acres of space. Takes one touch, just couldn't wrap his foot around the ball. You could see what he wanted to do. He wanted to curl the ball into the far post. In the end, doesn't get the curl on it. Oh. And some with a dink for a free down the push. We're not calling for it as for a penalty. But that's intelligent play by Boche. But here it is. Latin just shakes him with a shoulder. Gets into his back a bit. And there you see. Beautiful searching pass, looking for Joseph Esso. Now here is Esso, chops it beautifully. Sends the cross in. Kwame Ba, he was alert, but this header from Bamie nearly caught ball. There to find Esso. Esso picked up a decent cross into the near post. A free air, gambled for it, but just couldn't get a clean contact to trouble the goalkeeper. Great start by Hatterford.